Right, as promised, uh, we are going to integrate a different payment processing method for our application since PayPal doesn't work with iOS 13 anymore. So I have come across the Stripe, which is one of the biggest uh, mobile payment processors right now, if I'm not mistaken. And um, this is quite easy to set up and they are working with almost everything. And they have very uh, good test environment. We can uh, work around with their own cards so that we can test our uh, payments with different type of cards like MasterCard, Visa, Discovery, American Express, etc. And all this will be done through their cards so you don't have to use any of your cards. Uh, you can do everything in your development stage and once you are ready you just uh, complete the rest of your uh, port, uh, profile on their website and then you can start accepting real payments. So if you don't have account with Stripe, I'm guessing you don't unless you have used it before, go ahead uh, to stripe.com and you can click just start now and it will go through some uh, account opening procedure and you can verify your email and then it will allow you to log in. I have done this already so I'm going to click on my dashboard and it will take you to the area where uh, as soon as you log in you will see your dashboard here. You have some panels on the left and we are going to be interested in the first one which is payments and this uh, you can see on top it says test data so whatever is here it's not real it's just uh, test information so this uh, five processor uh, card payments were processed successfully. Um, you can have some disputes in case if your shop has some dispute or the client is disputing the payment like they are saying it wasn't authorized payment or whatever the case was. Uh, this will appear here in dispute area. Then you have balances. I haven't checked this out. I don't know what this exactly is. The other one is the customer. So the customer um, for Stripe, you can have different options of checking out. You can just grab the information from the customer's card and do the checkout, or you can register a customer and then charge the customer instead. The customer is quite useful if your uh, website or your application using something like subscription-based payments. For example, if you have like a Netflix or Spotify like application and you want to keep charging the client every month every year or whatever the subscription plan is then it would be good to create a customer and then uh, the customer is going to have his credit card payment details inside saved and every time the charge will happen automatically on the customer. Then we have uh, what we are more interested in is we need to go to this developer area where you can find the API keys. These API keys are uh, used in order to access the data and uh, charge the client. So there are two keys. First one is a public key. You can see the token here. And the second one is secret key. So the, the way Stripe is working is that uh, not everything will happen inside your application. So your application will contact the Stripe and then apart from your application, you need also a backend so that uh, your secret key will not be available inside the application. It will be available in your backend and then the payments will be confirmed through the backend. So for this, uh, for Stripe to work in our application, we are going to design the front end, which is our iOS payment processing. And then we're going to have the backend as well, which is going to confirm with our Stripe that the payment was authorized and this is where we are going to use our secret key. So the secret key, you have to click on it to reveal and it asks for my fingerprint to reveal, which I can put it and it reveals. So always keep your secret key safe. Don't show it to anybody. You can use this one if you want, but anyway, I'm going to reset after this video. So there is no use to you. If you want to reset it, if somebody found your secret key, you can just come here and roll again and it will generate a different secret key. Then we are going to check out the documentation. So if you go on the question mark here, click and go to documentation, it will take you to the place where we can see the documentation of Stripe. And what we're interested in here is the payments. So if you click on the payments, 
you will have like a checkout web iOS Android Mango. So of course we are interested in iOS and then you can go to integrate the SDK. But this will take you step by step what you need in order to uh, integrate the Stripe. So if you click on uh, install and configure SDK, it will tell you that you need to install through pods. You can say pod Stripe. This is what we need to add to our pod file. Then pod install. I'm sure this is already familiar to you how we use third party libraries. Of course, you need the Cocoa pods, which we already have. And once we do that, in our appdelegate.swift file, we're going to start our Stripe. So we just import the Stripe, we just co uh, configure our Stripe. And here, this is where we put our key. Uh, this is our public key. And if you are logged in and you are using the documentation, the cool thing about Stripe is they already provide the necessary key here from your account. So if you just copy this, uh, you will have exact same key from your account. So you just can copy and paste your code inside your application. And uh, of course, there is available Apple Pay through Stripe. So you can use the Apple Pay and it will link to your Stripe account if you want to, which is an optional. This you can do on your own if you want. Um, then they have these user interface components and our uh, there are some sample codes here you can use. But uh, what we are interested in is if you are uh, creating charges under here, you can go here and these are the languages that you can use for your backend. This is not for uh, frontend. Make sure that you remember this. This is for backend. So you can use Ruby, curl, PHP, JavaScript, Node.js, uh, Go, .NET and curl. Uh, what we're going to use in this application in this course is we're going to use Node.js for our backend. But you can just click through if you know any of the other languages. Uh, you can use that one uh, if you are more uh, familiar with it or it's easier for you to use. So for Stripe, it just doesn't make any difference what backend you are using. So this is a simple code. Um, you just uh, get the Stripe again, passing now this time your uh, secret key, not your test key. And then you just create a charge with Stripe and you provide like information that what you want to charge, the amount, the currency and some description and then of course the token. The token is what we receive from Stripe. So the first step is when you provide the card information to the uh, Stripe backend, they will generate a, a one-time token and then this token is used in order to confirm the payment through the backend. So without this token, we cannot use anything. And what is the most important thing is our application and our code is not going to collect and keep uh, customer card data. So uh, we are not going to do this. Everything will be done by Stripe. We just provide this token. There is no information passed actually about the credit card of our customer to Stripe or whatsoever. Uh, and also our application itself doesn't keep the information from our client. We just take it one time, use it to get a token, and then we are using this token to charge the client's card. So you don't have to go through uh, really hard uh, compliance things when you are going to process the card of the client yourself. So um, let, me, uh, let me quickly show you a ready application how it's going to look once we are done. Let me just put my password and this will run. Okay, so um, let's say I want to add something to my basket and I just did that. And once we go to our basket, we used to, we used to click on checkout and it will take us to PayPal page. But right now it will ask us this option. So we want to pay with a card or like pay with Apple Pay or maybe you want to add another option to your application. I'm going to say click pay with card and this will bring a view here. And we have cancel and done. Of course, I can cancel and it will take me back. But what we are interested in is 
we have to provide the card information. So this uh, text field is provided by Stripe and you can see it has uh, card information. So this 4242 card number is the test card that is provided by Stripe. So I can, uh, I can say 4242, I just type four twos. And when it comes to expiry date, month and year, you can put any number here as long as the date is after today. So if I just say 424, and then at the CVS, again, you can put any three or four digit. The visas are three digits, so you can put any three digit number here. It doesn't matter as long as it's the test card number. So if I click done, this will, oh, I'm, I'm not running my backend, so I need to run my backend. If your backend is not running, uh, your card cannot proce uh, process because there is no way to check for the card if the if it was authorized. So let me pause and run my backend and also I can show you what's going on there. Okay, now my backend is running. As you can see, I'm running not uh, index.js and my local host, which is port 3000, is running my uh, application. So if I go and click on checkout now, and you can see it's $120 so far. So this is what we're going to buy and pay with card and put for two, for two. And just click done. And you can see that it says payment successful. And this is also printing out what information we gave to our backend. So the amount, it says 12,000 here. But uh, it's very important to uh, note that the stripe is counting like cents, pennies. So if it's $120, it will be uh, 12,000 cents. Uh, so whatever your number is, you need to convert it first to cents and then you charge it on, on stripe. And then the description says purchase from iOS Dev School. And this is our token that was generated for our payment. And you can see the result is successful. Also, we receive a notification on our screen that our payment was successful. So if I go to my uh, payments here, we should see that a payment just happened, $120. You can see purchase from IDS iOS 20 shop and the date, which is August 21 and 6.17 p.m., which is my local time. So this is how our uh, payment was processed. So what we are going to do in from our next lecture is first we are going to integrate our Stripe and then we are going to write the code in order to start. First we are going to do the back uh, front end and once we're done we are going to do the back end and I'm going to use Node.js. But if you want you can use any of these languages here.